Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. That's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a relic of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. So red and white, of course, the preeminent colours at Old Trafford, which is now officially the largest club football ground in England. Its capacity, 75,000 and growing. So here it is, what we've all been waiting for. Make sure you are strapped in and ready to go. Well, the biggest show in town just now, Peter, and everyone wants to be a part of it. Uh, a competition that seems to draw out the, the whole gamut of emotions. And in keeping with that, we've got an atmosphere with a real sense of enthusiasm here. And uh, I'm hoping we get lift off once this game kicks off. We have already started here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I'll choose Wayne Rooney, a winner with a big heart. And yes, he has considerable talent, but he's driven by success and the determination that creates that drive. You can never underestimate that. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Finds himself eased off the ball. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Douglas Costa. Ribéry. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Berbatov hits it! Evra gets his foot in there. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Hoists it forward. Draws one in. Looking for a decent ball in. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Save a lovely little footballing moment. In with a header! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Shoots! Ribery. And it's Nani. He's through. Now it's Rooney. It's Rooney! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Nani. Just deflected over the goal line for a corner. Been leave it clear. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition. And I think he's taken just the keeper to beat. De Gea demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. 
Boateng hit the slide tackle there. Up he gets! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Lam going through. Douglas Costa. Robin provides an outlet. Robin. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. He tries to get it forward quickly. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Ribéry looking to run onto it. And the shot! Tries a shot, he scored! And always such a great time to score. A brilliant boost before you head in for half time, and you can guarantee that dressing room will be buzzing now. Uh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. Bayern Munich, break the deadlock. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Through to the goalkeeper. And the first 45 minutes are up. So there you have it, a close fourth half of football. Still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. And if the pet talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. Already up and running for the second half. Manchester United need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Now it's Nani. Hits one! Surely this time, another chance! Really well taken goal. The second half sparks straight into life. Berbatov at his razor sharp best there. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Manchester United have the equaliser, and we're all square. Ah, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. Just brushed off the ball there. Lam, Thiago, and it's Robin. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Bayern Munich are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Forward it goes. It's Robin. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. Now it's River. He's gone for it! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Oh, that was great pressure to force the initial error, Peter. It's the perfect example as to why this is a favourite tactic of a lot of teams these days. Thiago. Now it's Ribery. Gets wrestled off the ball. Scores. No, 
Viola. And it's played forward. Berbatov. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Alaba. And it's Ribéry. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Good ball. Rooney. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Say truly wonderful goalkeeping. Up for the header. Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Now it's Muller. Luis Gustavo. He's looked long this time. Now it's Muller. And he's Muller! Uh, he was never going to miss from there. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Defected behind for a corner kick. Massive lead! No, he didn't quite meet it right. And it's been taken straight back. Manchester United are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Now it's Lewandowski. And it's Scholes. Manchester United are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. has gone out of play. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Robin, the scorer already in the game. Muller, Vidic gets it back. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. A heavy challenge. Manchester United need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Well positioned to make that interception. Nani. Good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. The final whistle is imminent, but I do think he'll allow time for this free kick. There's not much doubt that this will be played into the penalty area. Moore deals with it effortlessly. Finds himself eased off the ball. Ribéry.
Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Well, it's a pretty poor start, there's no disguising it. All they can do is to try to recover it.